Welcome to this tutorial on DC to DC boost converter. In this tutorial, we will cover the basic working operation of a DC to DC boost converter and derive the output voltage of the same. To start with, we will see about the circuit of a boost converter. Shown here is a boost converter circuit with a generic switch here. So we have an input voltage. The other components include the inductor, the diode and the output capacitor. This is the output portion where we connect the corresponding load. In the boost converter, there are certain things that you have to take care of before you do the operation. If the switch is continuously on, then there is a short circuit and you will blow the MOSFET. At the same time, if you run the boost converter without the output load, then you will blow both the diode and the MOSFET in the circuit. So, you should make sure that before applying power, both the load is connected and the switch is operating properly. Now, we will get into the operation of the boost converter. So, this is the circuit and the output of the boost converter is dependent upon the duty cycle that you supply to the switching device. You could use MOSFET, IGBT or any other switching device. So for the output voltage derivation, we will use KVL and KCL and use it in the average sense to derive out the output voltage. For instance, if the switch is on, we will have one more kind of circuit and the switch is off then we will have the other kind of circuit. So this is the general operation when the switch is on. When the switch is on, so we will have a closed loop path starting from this input voltage and then the inductor through this path and this is now kept open. <coughs> and this part is closed, the inductor charges to a voltage which is exactly equal to the input voltage. So, so VL is equal to VIN, you could write VL is equal to L into DIL by DT which is equal to VIN. So when the switch is on which corresponds to D times T of the whole time period, this is the equation. In the next half, the switch is open, now the input voltage plus the voltage stored in the inductor will be transferred to the load. Since this input voltage is added up with this inductor stored voltage, we will have an output voltage which is greater than the input voltage. That is the reason why we call this as a boost converter. So applying KVL to this, so it is we will have uh, Vn minus Vl minus v V0 equal to 0. So Vl is equal to Vn minus V0 and based on that you could derive up this equation. So we have an inductor. So now we have two cases, one for the switch on corresponds to D into T time period and another for the switch off which is 1 minus D into T time period. Now we have both voltages. Now in the average sense, we, uh, for the volt second balance, we assume the average voltage across the inductor is zero. So now we have two voltages, one for the one for the on period and one for this on period another one for the off period. So during on period the inductor voltage is D into V in and during the off period the inductor voltage is 1 minus D into V in minus V naught. Once you do this uh, multiplication and leave out the terms what you would get is V out is equal to V in by 1 minus D where D is the duty cycle which has a range of 0 to 1. So uh, if you put 1 in the denominator, you could have infinite voltage, which is not practically possible. So the realistic upper, upper limit on the boost is 5 times. This concludes this tutorial on boost converter. Thank you.